Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, as you guys can see, it is the 2023 Majuri Black Friday haul. So just like last year and the year before's format, which by the way, I will leave the two videos here, is that I'm going to be going through my own personal haul of this year and then I will go through my own personal recommendations, which includes pretty much my short list of the short list, like the items that kind of make it year after year. And then there's also some items, if you watch the previous two videos, you might notice that some items have either fallen off the list or honestly in general just my preferences can change throughout the year like sometimes i'll fall back in love with a piece or fall out of love with a piece so this is my i guess the most up-to-date ones but usually the most staple items will always remain. So if this is your first time watching this video, I think it would be super helpful because these are some of the items that even Majuri has carried around for years and years and years. And this is going to be kind of the short list that you're going to need to see. I have also included my own personal wish list that either hasn't arrived yet because if you guys look at the site, a lot of the items are kind of on back order because a lot of it has been selling out or a lot of the items have just been sold out in general, which is why this video is so important because if you use the link down below, you will have early access. If you're watching this video, this means that at least the early access of the sale has already happened. So if you're watching this video, you can use the link immediately down below to register for early access because this is their once in a year sale. So you really, really, really have to take advantage of it. It is 20% off the entire site, but they are doing things a little bit differently this year. So you have to register to become a member. So if you use the link down below, you can register to be a member and as a member, it is free to register. You will have access to the 20% off. Otherwise, you are free to use the links down below for all of the items that I'm going to be mentioning today. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get right into the haul. So as you guys can see, I have six beautiful boxes here from a jury and I'm gonna be opening them and trying them on for the first time here on camera so I'm going to show you guys what I got because I'm doing this also for the first time I genuinely don't know what order this is all going to be in so hopefully it's somewhat organized the first package here I have pendants so I got another diamond pendant and I also got this really cute green pendant although I'm noticing that the diamond pendant they got the initial wrong I actually did order it in the letter L I actually already have it in the letter W but I wanted to go ahead and order the L so I can actually wear it together. Another piece that I'm going to be getting is their other pendant that actually has pearls on it. It is so cute, but at the time that I ordered, it is not going to be shipping anytime soon. So my letters are obviously LW, but I was also going to do that with the pearl because the pearl one looks so cute. But for now, I'm going to be doing the diamond one. It's really funny that they did get the letter wrong though. But if you guys didn't know, Majuri has Excellent customer service. I feel like people don't like to publicize this stuff, but honestly, like just like humans, companies can also make little errors and stuff like that. And their customer service is amazing. So anytime you guys have any issues with it, whether you're, I don't know, like something is wrong with your jewelry or something like this is misdelivered, like just contact them. They're so, so, so good. Anyway, so highly recommend it in case you have never checked out their customer service. But anyway, the new pendant is also gonna be for my neck. And this one is the green one, like I showed you. And it is so cute. I'm going to be trying that on right now for you. So I I didn't order a chain because I already have all these other chains from my previous pendants. This is the one that I always recommend, especially if you are kind of like beginner in jewelry or you're just starting a jewelry collection. This one is really great because it has your initial on it and it's just a simple circular pendant. So it looks really good for your neck. It is also very affordable. So this is also one of my recommendations that I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys early because it is such a great staple piece. If you guys are trying to build your jewelry collection, I have a video on jewelry for beginners and some really great staple starting pieces that are also more affordable and not just going straight to the diamond stuff. So you guys can check that out. But as you can see, one of the things that I love about Majuri is that they do sell their pendants separately. And that's just so lovely because that way you're not double paying for a solid gold chain and paying for something that you already have. Okay, so I just put on the necklace with the pendant and 
I also layered it actually with the W diamond pendant. So this is what it looks like together. Excuse the red on my neck. It always gets super sensitive when I even touch this area, but I just feel like this is such a cute little combo. And obviously you can also wear each separately. So if you want to look at this on its own, this is what it looks like. And I just feel like it looks super, super cute and super dainty. I just absolutely love it. Even pairing it with the Diamond W looks absolutely adorable. Another pendant that I wanna show you guys that I actually got from before is this red pendant here. And the reason why I'm showing you guys is because we all know that red is making such a comeback in this season. You can also layer it with other pendants. It's also very cute and it's also a staple on its own. On to the next box of the first bag so the next item is in a little pouch right here so the next items are these large bold hoop earrings and these ones are in solid gold so if you guys are wondering why I got this or you're wondering why this isn't already something that I have a lot of the large hoops that I have are either in gold verme they have diamonds on it or they're really really thin so this one is the first one that is in solid gold that is a lot thicker I've had one before that was thick from a jury but it was also a little bit too thick so I wanted one just in between if this is your first time watching my Majuri videos then you probably don't know this but I actually love just wearing my jewelry 24 7 even when I go to sleep even when I shower which is why I usually go towards solid goals and I never take these off so this is something that I'm hoping that I can do because it's a great everyday piece and I just want to stop taking my jewelry on and off because it gets really annoying. So this is what it looks like. And when I saw it on the website, I knew it was going to be the perfect, perfect everyday hoop. Just to show you in comparison, these are the other solid gold hoops that I have from Madrid. I think you can see what I mean by how thick these ones are. They're just really, really wide. And these ones are just a lot less thick. The next box contains two of the items that have been on my wish list for a really long time. The first one being this necklace right here. I don't know if you guys can see. It is this linked necklace. It has also some diamond detail on it and also a initial ring. I actually got both L and W, so I want to wear it together and show you guys what that looks like. I think it might just be in a different box, but I'm going to show you guys when I open the other one together. But in the meantime, I'm also going to put this on to show you the necklace. So this is what the necklace looks like. The length is very adjustable, so you can actually wear it all the way down to this length. And there's also a length that you can wear even higher if you wanted to. And one of the reasons I love necklaces like this is because unlike the pendants, you know how there's so many times where you could just be out there living life and then this will come all the way down and it's just not cute. Well, you will not experience it with this necklace because it is literally tied by the pendant which means that there will be no sliding back and forth. I mean, the only downside to this is obviously you can't do the whole like changing the pendant thing because obviously the chain is tied to the pendant here, but it is really, really, really nice not ever having to adjust your necklace. So this is what it looks like up close. I just think it's so dainty and so pretty with that little diamond detail and the chain just around it. It is so cute. I am so obsessed and I'm just so happy to finally get my hands on this necklace because it has been on my wish list for so long so it is just such a cute little piece on to the next box I'm so excited this is like a surprise like advent calendar so I'm not actually that surprised because I placed the order but you know what I mean so the next necklace oh my gosh I'm so excited for this one okay so the next necklace is actually the large diamond pendant necklace but this one is in white gold if you guys have watched my previous videos you will know i have been recommending this large diamond pendant necklace all the time all the time every video i feel like every video i come out with you will know that this is part of the recommendation. So I have the gold version. I went and got the white gold version because honestly, lately I have been noticing I've been wearing a lot of silver and I feel like the white gold will just go with a lot of the other white gold slash silver jewelry. So I kind of wanted the one staple piece that isn't gonna go anywhere. The other piece that you can see from the box here, I also got another ring in the color red. I just absolutely love this little detail. As you know, like 
like I said, red is making a comeback. You can even see that from my nails. And I just wanted to add this little hint of red in addition already to my heirloom ring, but I wanted to add it kind of with some of the other rings that I already have on. I put it here on my fourth finger. This is with the diamond dome ring. I forgot what this ring is called, but I absolutely love it. I also have this in the emerald. This is the new ring that you guys just saw and it's so dainty and it just has a tiny hint of red. So if you're not super into the whole statement T ring, such as the heirloom ring, Ring that really just you know kind of screams you know look at me this is going to be the statement piece if you like something more dainty then I highly recommend this one but I just absolutely love that the color red is making a comeback because if you guys didn't know red is one of my favorite colors and I just am fully embracing it okay the next box also has two little pouches so let's see what's inside so the first ones are these diamond pave heart studs they're absolutely gorgeous i have been wanting more heart jewelry for a really really long time but i feel like my jewelry doesn't have too many heart items until recently as you guys know i started fully embracing it earlier in the year when i got the heart necklace in white gold and i also got it in the color white i just thought that was so cute i'm so happy that they have some more heart products because it is so adorable and i'm so excited to wear this on my second lobe so this is what the heart stud look like on i just think they're so adorable let me know what you guys think if you guys aren't super into hearts they actually have the exact same earrings in the circular ones which i also got from majuri from before so they were super super cute and i highly recommend it was kind of my always my go-to for my second piercing because if you guys didn't know my third piercing closed up again so I feel like I need to go and get them re-pierced, but that was the one that I would always put as my last one, especially if the first earring is going to be a more staple piece. I just like to have something more simple in my upper lobe. The next item in the pouch is this chain right here. If you guys know me, I am a huge fan of Majuri chains, and I found that this one, it's called the anchor chain. It also comes in an anklet and a bracelet, but this is the necklace version i am just in love with all of their chains they do such a great job if you guys are an og watcher you know that the boyfriend chain is probably one of my favorite chains but i wanted to explore a new one this time because i think i have overworn the boyfriend chain so i'm going to show you guys what this one looks like because i was really excited when i saw it on the website and i'm also way more into chains that are a little bit lower because that way i can wear some of my other necklaces as well such as this okay i actually took off one of the necklaces because i just want to show you guys how i typically always wear my necklaces i like to always have this effect where I have one plain chain if you guys have been following me along for a while because this also is going to make sense because of all the recommendations I'm going to be making a little bit later the way that I love wearing my necklaces is having one plain chain with no pendants no nothing on it and then kind of layering it with like one classic pendant like I feel like this is the classic necklace length and I always like to have my one staple piece so in this case I like to have the diamond with the green pendant and then this plain chain right here in the last box it is the ring that we have been waiting for it is the last cursive initial ring in the letter W I feel like I'm very picky with the way that my letter is written especially the first letter because I feel like the L is usually a very plain letter and it's actually very plain on the diamond pendant but they also came out with the cursive version this L paired with this W is gonna look so cute together I mean I'm single right now but I feel feel like this would also be such a great gift for your girlfriend slash a boyfriend because I just feel like this looks super cute together. I am wearing both of my initials together, LW. These are my initials, but look at how the L is written. If your name also starts with an L, I feel like so often because the L doesn't look good, the cursive really, really makes it stand out and look really cute. And if you guys are dating someone, I think that if you get one initial that's yours, one initial that's theirs, I just think that is so cute or even just one initial that is your name for them or vice versa i think that would be so adorable but anyway because i don't have anyone right now i'm gonna just wear my own initials and also funny enough on my ring finger because it's just a placeholder you guys okay i'm just waiting for my actual diamond ring
So that is pretty much my Black Friday haul. Hopefully some of the items gave you inspo as to what you should get. But in the meantime, I'm going to be showing you guys some of my pieces that I absolutely recommend year after year. Starting with chain necklaces. So like I mentioned, kind of this piece that I absolutely love wearing. There are three chain necklaces that I really think you should get. The first one is the boyfriend bold chain that I had mentioned earlier. This is what the chain looks like. It looks absolutely dangerous and absolutely so cute. I think it's such a plain classic chain and it goes well with literally everything. And I know the chain itself kind of looks like this and it looks more, I guess for lack of a better word, badass, but because of how dainty it is, it really doesn't give that vibe. It just genuinely goes with everything. It is probably one of my favorite, favorite chains that Madrid has ever made. So this chain also comes in a bracelet and an anklet. I won't make the same recommendations twice, but basically, those chains I also have in bracelet form. Oh, I'm actually wearing it right now as you can see on my hand this is the boyfriend chain because they just updated it and gave the diamond bar but this is essentially the chain and i absolutely love it it just goes with everything so you can get it plain with the bracelet and the anklet the second chain that i really recommend and this one i get questions about all the time and it is so worth the money it is this chain right here this is the serpentine chain and this chain right here i see Said this so many times but it literally looks like liquid gold if you just look at how this looks on my neck it is so dainty and so cute and once again looks like gold melted on your body it's so cute i also have this in the bracelet version so i highly recommend getting this because it's going to be so worth your money the quality is absolutely amazing doesn't ever come off and obviously it's in solid gold the last one that i always recommend now surprisingly because you guys have heard the story so many times if you've watched my videos before this chain caught me by surprise if the boyfriend chain seems a little too dainty for you then i have an alternative this is the paper clip chain and it gives the same vibe but just slightly more bold but not as statement as you think it is this one just looks like this and it gives a little bit more zhuzh to it so if you are looking for that then this one is going to be perfect for you it also has a hook down the middle personally i like to wear this completely plain but you can also put a pendant on the chain as well if you wish the other necklace that i absolutely recommend in addition to to all the other ones that I've already shown you with the pendant is the large diamond necklace. I've already mentioned this, but I just want to show you guys what the gold looks like. This is probably one of my most worn necklaces ever. I cannot see this ever going out of style. It doesn't matter what year it is. It doesn't matter if you end up immigrating to Mars when spaceships are available. It will be trendy there, okay? This is just one of those items where it is like the Chanel classic equivalent in jewelry, okay? This is never gonna go out of style and I just think that this is the time for you to get it because it is just too good. In addition to the white gold, whatever you choose, I decided to go for a white gold this time because obviously I already had the yellow gold, but if you don't have this at all, you need to get it. And if you're already debating between getting the small diamond or the large diamond, I'm going to save you the hassle, okay? Get the large one, I promise you. Anyone who has gotten the small one always comes back to me and they're like, oh my God, I should have listened to you and just gotten the large one. And I'm like, okay, well that's your fault for not listening to me because the small one just looks so tiny and you just have to be like, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like you don't want that vibe. Think abundantly. So if you're gonna get the diamond, either don't get it at all, or get the large one, okay? I don't know how they feel about me recommending not getting one of the necklaces, but I'm really trying to tell you the big one is really worth it, okay? Moving on to earrings. Oh my gosh, I feel like I could be here forever, but like I said, I'm really trying to make my recommendations as short, concise, and stable as possible because you have to understand the theme here, okay? If you guys have been following me along for a while, every month I will show you guys some majority pieces, at least before anyway, and those would be some trendy pieces, some pieces that are, you know, just kind of like for the real majority enthusiasts, but I feel like always for the sake of the Black Friday video, I want to keep it as classic as possible because people People have been like saving their money for this event so anyway I am here to deliver that so this is gonna be a very short and tough short list but at least you'll know what I truly 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 wear all the time all the time like I'm not saying I don't wear 
all the pieces but this is the stuff that is the most worn so i just want to give you guys that vibe for this video starting with the first piece this is actually something that is a majority classic i know that you can go to a jeweler or a different competitor to get like some of these pieces but these earrings are honestly it's one of those pieces where if you wear them you know this is from majority but this is the thin oversized tubes these are absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna put them on and show you guys in a bit but this is so stinking cute and also it's just it's a majority piece like there's no other jewelry place that makes this so i just think it's really cute they're extremely big but because of how dainty it is it gives you this mixed vibe of like a statement piece but also a classic piece but i absolutely love it i wear it all the time and it's actually surprisingly very secure it doesn't come off even though they're huge and it's very very comfortable the next four earrings that i also have to recommend are also hoops but i'm going to be showing you which hoops on the majority site you need to get because majority offers so many hoops so i'm going to tell you which ones to get and which ones not to get starting with the first one this is their diamond hoop earring so this one comes in three different sizes there's the large medium and small i personally Personally, like all three back when I had a working third piercing I wore all three together and it looked incredible like I wore them all three and it's just such a vibe I don't know I just absolutely love that look so now I just wear it with the two whatever but the reason why I recommend these ones in particular is because on the website there's another one where it has an open back and the reason why I don't recommend that is because they have recently come out with hoop charms and with that set of earrings you cannot you cannot put on the hoop charms because obviously it's going to fall off whereas this you can loop it through and then you can wear your hoop charms with it the other reason why i recommend this more than the other ones is because that one has your classic backing whereas this one is an actual hoop all the way around so it's actually a lot more comfortable and there's less chances of you having i don't know i feel like sometimes with studs with that type of backing if it's on too tight sometimes eventually you get like pus or some weird stuff going on in the back if you wear it improperly Properly. so this one you don't even have to worry about that at all because it's just so comfortable and your ear has the freedom to breathe the other ones that I recommend is the bold diamond pave hoop earrings so these ones are also a very very big classic so these ones don't actually work with the hoop charms but because it is bolder with the diamond it just looks very classic and such a staple I think it gives off that old money that aesthetic that's been going around lately I think Think it looks really really cute pick what really suits you but these are some of my favorite ones but then also they also have these also the bold ones in the non-diamond so if you don't like the diamond thing you can obviously get these in just the solid gold but another one that is a really good size is the huggy size so the huggy size with the diamond is also so cute and if you also are someone like me that has multiple earrings i always use it in the upper ones i i just think having huggies in your upper lobes is an absolute must-have because you want to try to style your statement earrings in the front the last one that actually surprised me this year that I ended up really liking is from their Pyra collection. I just absolutely love that entire collection. One of the bracelets is actually on my wish list. It is the diamond tennis bracelet but from the Pyra collection. So that entire collection is very bold, very edgy. It has all the triangular shapes to it. So I really want that bracelet eventually. But the huggy earrings, although at first sight you're like, whoa, it is so expensive but let me tell you it is genuinely because it's very heavy it has a lot of gold to it this is where all the money goes pretty much but this is a huggy and it actually looks really really cute when it is in your upper lobes as well so i highly recommend checking that out if you guys are also looking for some charms to go with the first pair of hoops that i suggested i'm going to leave my favorite charms down below this is one of them right here but every time i style my hoop earrings with charms I feel like it looks like a completely different earring and once again I just love this concept because it's very like a la carte and you don't have to pay for the entirety of a new earring kind of like the whole idea with pendants it's like instead of paying for the chain and the pendant you just pay for the pendant and style it differently and the combos are endless it's like girl math you know what I mean like this this is what makes girl math girl math because I feel like when you spread out the different combinations with one hoop charm and putting it through through a large medium and small like the the results are endless and then depending on what hole you put it in you know it's like 
it goes on forever. So really it's free is really what I'm trying to tell you guys. Lastly, the more affordable earrings that I want to recommend to you guys because this is actually in sterling silver But these ones caught me by surprise like I said silver is making a comeback You can mark my word you're gonna see it everywhere later this year and also early next year But these hoop earrings I style it together This is the large one and I style it with the small one every time I wear this combo together I get so so many questions from people they're like where is this from it is like the perfect size of staple silver earrings and i'm always like majuri it's majuri you guys because everyone thinks of gold when they think of majuri they never think of the white gold they never think of the sterling silver but i'm telling you these earrings are oh, they are so amazing and i get so many compliments wearing them okay i want to move on to bracelets now because i still have to do rings and rings is another beast the top four bracelets that i recommend in addition to the serpentine and the boyfriend bold chain and the paper clip because those three are the chains that I already recommended for the necklace so I'm not gonna double recommend they you already know from the necklace portion that you need to get it in the bracelet version as well but the one that I really want to recommend and I recommend this every year is the diamond tennis bracelet I actually are knowing more and more people that got it and everyone that gets it is absolutely in love with it They actually just came out with a two carat one as well The one that I have is the one carat because this is from before when there was only one option This bracelet will not disappoint. I promise you. I promise you you get so many compliments on it It is such a staple and most importantly because it's such an expensive bracelet. It is actually very secure It will never come off. So I really recommend this as you guys know i have the paper clip and also the boyfriend one if you are thinking to be a little bougie you can also get the diamond version but if you don't want you can just get the regular version i also recommend getting a bracelet like this this is just a really plain chain i think this is such a staple on your wrist as well i just think that it looks really really cute when you pretty much like layer it with anything but i really like to do all these bracelet stacks so this is my current stack and I absolutely love it. Okay, moving on to rings. I have oh, so many rings. This was so hard for me to narrow down. I'm going to start with the ones on my finger because these are already ones that I wear the most and it will include some of the new ones that they came out with that are actually quite affordable and very stylish. So the first ring that I will always recommend is the diamond pave ring. It is the middle one right here. This ring gets so much recognition and I genuinely believe this ring is probably the most sold product on their website that is Pave Diamond. So I highly recommend I also recently got this mini diamond ring. This one is really, really cute as well. It actually really reminds me of the single diamond ring. This one is also really, really popular. Every time I wear that, everyone always ends up getting it. So this is kind of the same vibe. Instead of circular, it is rectangular because I feel like some people are more into the rectangular or just like the longer shape. The other one is the duo ring. It is two rings basically dangling together. The reason why this one is really good is because when you wear it together, it, it causes this cross and then this is like the perfect space for your other statement item So if you look at my index finger, it kind of creates the perfect spot for the pearl and diamond to kind of just wedge in there So I absolutely love that the other two that I have on my finger here is the pave diamond dome ring I also love the regular dome ring. This is also another really popular ring that I have always loved This is such a staple and definitely more affordable if you are not looking to get the diamond version and the open diamond ring is also really really cute I always have it on my fourth finger and I layer it like this and then as you guys can see this is the ring that I just got but you can see that where the open diamond area is also creates this lovely crevice for one of the statement pieces to go in some other pieces that I want to recommend to you are the heirloom ring is honestly really really popular I obviously have the red version but this comes in other stones as well that you guys can check out and then then I also recommend my thumb ring. This is always what I have and it is so affordable. One of the most basic stacker rings and it is my ultimate thumb ring. I have it now in both yellow gold and white gold, but I highly recommend checking this out. I never take it off. It is so secure on my hand and yeah, it's just 
it is the go-to thumb ring. Last on my hand is actually this ring right here. It is new, but I absolutely love it. I feel like this is for the dainty person who's too lazy to layer. So it is perfect for that because you can wear it on its own and it also already looks like it has been layered without actually having to do anything. Finally, the three rings that I really wanna put on your radar that I'm not wearing today. The first one is this one right here. This is from the Pyra collection. This actually reminds me of a ring that I already have, but since I got this, I ended up giving it to my mom so she could wear it because she was always so obsessed with it and she would always steal it from me. So since I got the Pyra one, I ended up giving her my previous one, but this one is so cute. Such a statement. I know in all the previous Black Fridays, people have literally DM'd me and abandoned their entire car to save all their money up for a ring like this one. So definitely keep this one on your radar. If you guys are, once again, I'm not a fan of the diamond. The other one that I get so many questions on every time I wear it is the solid gold Charlotte ring. This is what it looks like. It is such a statement and at the same time such a classic because the pattern is very classic and it is the same all the way around. So it is one of the best pieces and once again you don't ever have to take it off because it's in solid gold. The last piece that I want to recommend to you is another diamond piece but I promise you this is going to be a staple. I honestly also feel like this would make a really great wedding band but this is the diamond baguette ring and there's two versions there's one where you can just see the top part that's diamond baguette and then there's this one which is all the way around so it's just whichever one tickles you fancy this is the one that I wear more to be honest with you but I absolutely love it finally we are at the last part of my video there are currently two things that are majorly on my wish list right now the first one is the diamond tennis necklace because as you guys know I am so in love with my bracelet and I would absolutely love the necklace version. The next piece is the Pyro Diamond Tennis Bracelet. That one is so gorgeous. I definitely, definitely am going to keep my eye on that one. And then the third one, how many did I say I had? But anyway, the third one is also the choker, the Diamond Revere choker. I think it has, it's circular and it is so cute. I feel like if I have that necklace, I would genuinely think that I am a princess. Not that I don't already, but like I will know. I'm a princess. You know what I mean? Anyway, that being said, those are my recommendations. If you guys want to come back to the video but want, don't want to watch the full thing, I'm definitely going to be leaving a guide down below and all the links are down below anyway so you guys can check those out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm so excited to see you in the next one. Bye!